sentiment analysis sentiment analysis is the contextual mining of text which identifies and extracts subjective information in source material and helps a business to understand the social sentiment of a brand product or service while monitoring online conversations however analysis of social media streams is usually restricted to just basic sentiment analysis and count based metrics this is akin to just scratching the surface and missing out on those high value insights that are waiting to be discovered so what should a brand do to capture that low hanging fruit with the recent advances in deep learning the ability of algorithms to analyze text has improved considerably creative use of advanced artificial intelligence techniques such as nlp can be effectively used for in depth research it is important to classify incoming customer conversation about a brand based on the following lights key aspects of brand's product and service that customers care about and users underlying intentions and reactions concerning those aspects these basic concepts when used in combination become a very important tool for analyzing millions of brand conversations with human level accuracy sentiment analysis is the most common text classification tool that analyzes an incoming message and tells whether the underlying underlying sentiment is positive negative or neutral let us explore one variant or one application of sentiment analysis in our sentiment analysis we will be analyzing the sentiments of amazon food reviews there are three possible sentiments that a customer can have positive neutral or negative sentiment analysis deals with the identification and classification of opinions and sentiments expressed on text interpersonal interactions have become a customary standard in the modern era reviews of services and goods is very necessary for the public the classification of these reviews as positive negative and non partisan polarities can become a formidable task in the assessment of nlp the sentiment analysis of customer review can aid a company to overcome its lacking and therefore guide them to achieve better improvements this project work performs supervised learning task to predict the score of amazon fine food reviews on a scale of 1 to 5 using logistic regression and classifies them under the categories of positive negative and non partisan polarities through multi class text classification the objective is the construction of logistic regression model to determine the sentiment of a given review into the following three categories that is negative neutral or positive the data set for this the data set used for this is the amazon fine food reviews data set the amazon fine food review data set comprises of 568454 reviews the data is included in a single csv file that contains the product ids reviewer ids review reviewer scores that is ranging from 1 to 5 the date for each review a brief synopsis for each review and the text for each of the review as labels and raw inputs we extract the columns of scores and review texts the following information is included in the data attributes in the attributes there is the product id which is the unique identifier for each of the products 
user id which is a unique identifier for the customer or the user profile name that is the name of the customer helpfulness numerator that is number of users who have found the review helpful helpfulness denominator that is the number of users who indicated whether they found the review helpful or not score which is a rating from 1 to 5 time that is the timestamp of the review summary that is the brief summary of the review and text which is the review of the text The algorithm used will have four parts. Inputting the required modules, reading the data and exploring it. Cleaning the data, which will involve two parts. That is the identifying the missing data and handling the missing data. And finally, formatting the data for classification, which will involve splitting of the data into train and test sets and one hot encoding. Methodology. We will be implementing the logistic regression. The logistic regression is a statistical model that in its basic form uses a logistic function to model binary dependent variable. Although many more complex extensions exist, in regression analysis, logistic regression is estimating the parameters of a logistic model. The logistic regression algorithm works as follows. Implementation of a linear equation. Logistic regression algorithm works by implementing a linear equation with independent or explanatory variables to predict a response value. If we have one explanatory variable x1 and one response variable z, then the linear equation would be given mathematically with the following equation z equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x1. Here the coefficients beta naught and beta 1 are the parameters of the model. If there are multiple explanatory variables, then the above equation can be extended to z equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 and so on till beta n xn. Here the coefficients beta naught, beta 1, beta 2 and beta n are parameters of the model. Sigmoid function. The predicted response value denoted by z is then converted into a probability value that lies between 0 and 1. In machine learning, sigmoid function is used to map predictions to probabilities. The sigmoid function has an S shaped curve, and this curve is often called a sigmoid curve. Decision boundary. In order to map this probability value, to its discrete class that is pass or fail yes or no true or false in our case it would be positive review negative review or non-person review we select a threshold value this threshold value is called the decision boundary above this threshold value we will map the probability values into class 1 and below which we will map the values into class 0. For our model, we will have class of minus 1 as well, indicating a negative class, that is, a negative review. Mathematically, it can be expressed as follows. This is a standard decision boundary consideration, where the, if the value of p is greater than 0.5, it belongs to class 1, and if it's less than 0.5, it belongs to class 0. But when we have three conditions, that is positive, negative, and neutral, we will need to have 
we need to have p greater than 0.5 lesser than 0.5 and another class p equal to 0.5 in the standard bivariable class greater than in or equal to is combined we then have the prediction function a prediction function in logistic regression returns the probability of the observation being positive yes or true we call this class 1 and it is denoted by p where class equal to 1 if the probability inches closer to 1 then we will be more confident about our model that the observation is in class 1 and similarly if the prediction is closer to minus 1 we can determine that it belongs to the negative review set cost function a loss function or a cost function is a function that maps an event or values of one or more variables onto a real number intuitively representing some cost associated with the event cross entropy cross entropy is a cost function which measures the performance of a classical or a classification model whose output is a probability value between 0 and 1. It is calculated using the formula 1 by m summation of the cost function. These are smooth monotonic functions which always increase or always decrease which help us to easily calculate the gradient and minimize the cost. If the cost value equal to 1, we have a parabolic curve. If y value equal to 0, we have a hyperbolic curve. Cross entropy loss increases as a predicted probability diverges from the actual label. Gradient descent. Gradient descent technique is used to minimize the cost function. The derivative of sigmoid function is given by the following formula s dash of z equal to s of z to 1 minus s of z the above equation leads us to the cost function given by the following formula c dash equal to x into s of z minus y these were some detailed mathematical relations with respect to the classification Logistic regression was fitted to the vectorized and transformed training data obtaining, obtained using the TF-IDF vectorizer function in SKLR. The hyperparameter which was varied here is the c-value. The accuracy score was evaluated for the training and the validation set using a k-fold validation with k equal to 10. We will apply four vectorization techniques on the data set. BOW on Unigram, Bigram, and TFIDF would have taken forever if they had taken all the dimensions as it had huge dimensions and hence tried with max 300 as max depth Bigram features, which give the best results with an accuracy of 85.11% and an F1 score of 0.78. On the right side of the slide, we can see the basic architecture of the model, where the reviews are taken as the input and the data is prepared, the reviews are analyzed and classified on the further step, and then the results are obtained. The logistic model is the leading model in terms of accuracy score. the sentiment analysis using bag of words model carried out. The logistic model is also quite good at avoiding overfitting.
The overfitting probability is quite low and it occurs only at extreme values of C. Also, in terms of the stability of the logistic regression model, it is quite stable. The train test split procedure is used to estimate the performance of machine learning algorithms when they are used to make predictions on data not used to train the model. We see here a graph of accuracy score versus C value where the red line indicates the training score and the green line indicates the validation score. It is a mean accuracy score across a range of logistic regression model. Finally, we have a confusion matrix here where we have 0.7 as the negative score, 0 0.4, 0 0.44 as the neutral score, and 0.93 as the positive score. Our model is performing better on classifying positive and negative reviews. Applying logistic regression, we obtain an accuracy of approximately 85% on the training data and an accuracy of 76% on the test data.